Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and have had a lovely day so far. Today's video is really exciting as it's in collaboration with lots of other fabulous YouTubers and vloggers. There has been quite a lot of negativity going around the internet at the moment about vloggers and YouTubers. So the lovely Jessica Carter came up with the idea of us all collaborating, quite a lot of us YouTubers on here and vloggers that know each other to collaborate and bring to you a video all about YouTubers and why we vlog and what's involved in it and just address some of the issues that's been going on the internet, some of the trolling and just why we love vlogging and why it's important to us. So like I said, there is lots of other lovely ladies doing a video all about YouTubing and vlogging. So in the title of this video, there is a hashtag value vloggers. And if you want to watch everyone else's video, then just make sure you type in hashtag value vloggers in the search bar and I'm sure you will find everyone else's videos to watch. But without further ado, let's get on with the video and I can talk to you a little bit about why I started vlogging, why I love it, the pros and the cons of it. The reason I started YouTube was to just create memories for our family. I started it back in about 2015 maybe or 2016. I think end of 2015 I started it um, just as Alfie was turning two. So I started it mainly because I just loved watching other people and they totally inspired me to create my own content and create my own channel. I wanted to create content for other mummies out there and also make memories for our family. Since starting my vlog, I've had lots of positives about it, I have had lots of negatives about it. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about some of the pros and cons with vlogging and why I love doing it and some of the negative things about it and things that are hard about it because I don't think people understand how much hard work goes into it and how hard and time consuming it actually is to be a vlogger and it takes so much time and effort. So I've wrote a little list of all the pros and the cons so I'm just going to read off my list um, and talk to you about the pros and go into a little bit more detail about the pros and the cons of why I love being a YouTuber and what I get from it and how much I value my subscribers and how much it means to me as a person and like what I gain from it. So the, one of the pros of YouTube is definitely that it's fun and enjoyable. I absolutely love filming everything. It's like second nature now to me. I love just picking up the camera and just vlogging our day and just putting it in front of Alfie. Alfie absolutely loves talking to the camera so it's really great to look back on the memories of Alfie just talking and chatting to the camera because I'm sure he'll love that when he gets a little bit older to look back and see how silly and fun he was in front of the camera. I also really enjoy editing. I think it's like the best hobby. Like I just love sitting down and editing. I will spend quite a while doing it can take hours to edit or it can take five minutes it depends what type of video you're filming but I just absolutely love editing and I think it's really fun and enjoyable to do. One of the other good things about YouTube is it can be done anywhere in the world you've just got to have a laptop, a camera and wi-fi um, it's so great because when you go on holiday or if you were planning on going like traveling around the world you know you'd be able to just take your camera and take your laptop and you'd be able to do it from anywhere in the world. One of the other positives about YouTube is it's a great place for mums and dads because everyone gets together and supports each other and I've made so many friends through YouTube since starting YouTube and Instagram and sharing my life on here. I've just made so many other lovely mummy friends and daddy friends and it's just been such a great outlet for everyone to connect and talk to each other about problems and about positives, all sorts of different things. There's just so much support that goes on on YouTube and Instagram and I just think it's a great place. Another great positive about YouTube is that you can make money from it. Um, if you are a successful YouTuber and you make really good content and you get lots of views then you can start to make money from it and it's actually really good money so you could make a living from it as long as you are successful and you make the right content and you actually enjoy doing it. I think that the, one of the main reasons I started doing it is because at first it was like a hobby and I really, really enjoyed doing it and making videos and now it's kind of become my career and my job, which is amazing. Another great thing about YouTube is that you can work with other brands. I've worked with lots of brands now that I just wouldn't even have dreamed of working with and I've had lots of emails from brands that I would never have dreamed of having emails from. It's just amazing that this crazy little YouTube world you can 
meet so many people and advertise for brands that you never think you would have ever like spoken to before like brands that you love now i'm just going to talk about some of the cons to do with youtubing and instagramming and just social media in general so it can be very time consuming youtubing and um, making videos and making content can be very time consuming you can spend hours on an evening sometimes when the boys have gone to bed i will literally sit on my laptop and edit for ages I will sit down and film a video because I don't have time through the day sometimes um, I will take pictures, I will edit pictures, I will send emails, receive emails and all that thing it does take a lot of time and effort to do that and I think some people don't realise how much time actually goes into it I think people think oh just become a YouTuber it's really easy and it's easy to make money through just doing YouTube and creating videos and just posting pretty pictures on Instagram but it, behind the scenes it actually takes quite a long time to get those perfect shots to take a good picture. You know children yourself if you're a mum or your dad watching this you'll know that it's really difficult to take a picture of a child sometimes so it can take ages to try and get the right shot on the perfect picture if you want to call it that. Um, I know on Instagram and YouTube sometimes it makes out that people have these perfect lives but it's just only a snippet of their lives um, so if you sometimes see and think oh their lives are perfect they just share all these perfect things about their lives and they have it so great and everything like that but it's not actually all like perfect sometimes we are just real people just sharing parts of our lives on the internet to try and help others Another con really about YouTube is it can be quite an expensive thing to start up. If you are planning on becoming a YouTuber, you've got to have a good decent camera, you've got to have decent lighting, you've got to have a good laptop, you've got to have other things that try and make things look good, you've got to be able to know what you're doing. So it can be quite an expensive hobby if you want to call it that. Um, I obviously have invested in a decent camera and I've invested in um, you also have to invest in music for your videos um, just lots of different things so you would need a decent camera, a decent laptop, some um, good lighting for videos. Another con about YouTube and Instagram is trolls. Um, where to even start with trolls? I just don't even know what goes through people's minds to be honest. Um, they obviously just have a lot of hate in themselves and they must have really horrible lives to be able to leave such nasty things on other people's videos and comments and things like that. Um, it really like disturbs me and totally confuses me that people can be like that. Like if I was to watch somebody on YouTube, if I didn't like their video and I didn't enjoy it and it wasn't something that I was interested in, I would never ever ever give them a thumbs down or send them a, la a nasty message because I didn't like it. I would just click off the video and watch something else, watch something that I liked to watch or something that I was m enjoyed more. Um, I just don't understand what people get from trolling and get from giving thumbs downs and things like that and writing negative comments. It just doesn't achieve anything. It's just it's just basically about that, it, it tells a lot more about that person than it does you. I think if somebody's got time on their hands to be able to send nasty messages, emails, make accounts up about you, um, write about you on forums, send horrible messages and comments on YouTube, then they've obviously got a lot of problems going on in their lives and you should just really just feel sorry for them. But it's definitely kind of a con about YouTube because it's not very nice to having to wake up and see messages like that or just to receive messages and things about hate, it's just not very nice. Um, but you've just got to like throw it over your head because it's part and parcel of the job, um, pa um, part of YouTube because you are going to get people that aren't going to like your content and um, it's just some people are that nasty that they will leave comments and hate on your videos. So you've kind of just got to let it go over your head otherwise it will get to you so much that you just think about it too much and you'll end up worrying then and then it'll make you not want to do it anymore so you've just kind of got to ignore it, block it, remove it and just ignore and move on and just not think about those horrible people in your life um, because they're not worth it and they're not people that you need in your life to start with. So I think trolls is definitely a hard thing about YouTube but you've just kind of got to let it go over your head. Also the last con I would say about YouTube is that friends and family at, the fir at first don't really understand it, don't get it. At first when I started YouTube and vlogging 
people are like, um, what on earth are you doing? Why are you videoing yourself? Why has she done this? And like people that went to school with maybe would talk about me and say, um, have you seen Rebecca Lamb's videos? Why is she making videos? And what's she doing this for? And um, just things like that. So a lot of friends and family don't understand and you will get people talking behind your back. You will get people talking about, oh, why is she doing this? And have you seen the, have you seen these videos that Rebecca Lamb's been posting? Or, so and so, so and so, and blah blah blah. Um, people will like not understand it and be thinking, why is this girl making these videos about her food shop to Aldi, her day in the life? Who cares? But people do care. People do and are interested in these types of videos. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a whole internet and YouTube space full of videos about hauls and about days in the life, so about parenting and about routine videos. People enjoy watching them. A lot of people have started watching YouTube on an evening now instead of watching the TV. So it's like mad how the world is kind of changing and people are watching YouTube more and I think it's amazing. I think it's such a great community and I don't think people understand it as well as they should do. And yeah, I just wanted to try and um, address the issue that I've had like quite a lot of people be nasty to me about me making videos and stuff and I just don't think they understand but you are going to get that if you were to start a YouTube and you've kind of just got to again just let it go of your head and just think about what it brings to you and how, how happy it makes you by doing these videos. So to end this video basically I absolutely love making videos and I love YouTube, I love the community and I love all the people that I've met through doing it and I just love sharing my life on here and bringing positive and content that helps you guys and helps others because that's what it's all about I think. One of the reasons why I wanted to carry on doing YouTube was to help other people, help mummies out here that are the same as me and that are going through the similar situations as I am. Like when I posted lots of pregnancy things about when I was pregnant, it helped lots of other people and that's kind of what I want to gain from it. I just want to help others share my life and have memories to look back on with Alfie and Woody and Steve and our family. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry if you think I waffled on a bit too much about things because I'm looking at this now and it's nearly 20 minutes long. Don't how I'm gonna edit it's gonna take me a while but I really hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was useful and helpful and I hope you understood a little bit more about youtubers and how we do YouTube and what goes on behind the scenes and stuff and how time-consuming it can be and thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all again in the next video and don't forget to check out everyone else's channel I will I think I will link everyone's below. We're going to sort something out anyway. They will all be linked either in the description or if you search the hashtag value vloggers, then you will be able to find everyone else's videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.